Hello panel. We are team Beehive from Reva University. Today we are going to talk about a project idea for the problem statement provided by India Coal Limited. So coming to our project aim, our main aim is to design and develop a smart clothing jacket fit for working in harsh conditions such as coal mine. The jacket has sensors embedded in it that monitor and checks various parameters in and around the worker to ensure their safety. The data is securely transmitted to the admin managers who can see them in the dashboard along with the live feed transmitted from the micro camera placed on the helmet. They are also notified about hazardous conditions and the workers' physical conditions, improving safety overall. All right, now let's look at the approach and our flow chart. On to the top left of your screen, what you can see is known as a companion box. A minus companion box will be developed, which will comprise of vital sensors such as BVM, SPO2, noise, temperature, air quality, gyroscope, and gas sensors. These are connected to a low power microcontroller like Arduino Nano to collect data on a loop basis. A micro camera is also attached to the helmet, which can capture the light situation in and around the worker. It acts as a self-sustaining DVR that can map and store the recent footage of the worker. The box has an integrated solar panel that can be attached to the worker's jacket to provide self-recharge as and when possible. Alternative micro USB mode for charging will also be provided. The companion boxes are connected to a central node, a parent node which acts as the collection center for all the values. The companion node tries to detect the nearest sensor node and broadcasts the sensor data using LoRa. LoRa follows a hybridized approach which basically uses a 2.4 internet free gigahertz approach to transmit data all over intermediate distances. This allows us to transmit data without the help of internet. The central node in turn receives the data from all its nearby devices and sends it along to the database. Now that we have the data that we received from the LoRa data receiver, all this data is stored in our NoSQL database. We have chosen to go with the NoSQL database simply for the scalability that we have. And this database is directly connected with the backend server. The backend server is where most of the processing happens, most of the analytics happens. We have our machine learning techniques which will uh, analyze the data and perform analysis on parameters such as low BPM, oxygen deprivation, gas leakage, or even collapse. Provided that we find there is some flaw and we would be raising an emergency alarm that would be sounded and the details would be forwarded to the analytical dashboard. This dashboard is what the person sitting on the other side would access to know as to how in real time the analysis works and if that per particular person in the coal mine is uh, actually safe or not. So to give you more in-depth knowledge about analytical dashboard, Sanjana would be taking over. Once the data is uploaded to a backend server, we want to be able to access this information and display it in a website that can be viewed by admin staff. We decide to construct a safety dashboard to provide the administrators access to the data collected from the workers along with their environmental conditions. This is a control panel where administrators can see real time updates on vitals such as oxygen level, air quality, temperature sensors, gas indicators, etc. Additionally, the dashboard is updated with statistical representations by applying machine learning algorithms to analyze and interpret the data received. This can assist admins evaluate patterns and make informed decisions for better future work conditions. On the left side of the user interface that you can see on your screen is a navigation panel. This also has an emergency option, which can be used to contact emergency services in case of life threatening circumstances. This page also has a task menu, which can be used to create tasks and manage them efficiently. We can see on our health page that we have individual worker information that can be seen alongside their critical vitals, along with their priority. Firstly, we all know that coal mine workers run the risk of getting respiratory damage due to high levels of dust and chemical particles in the environment. This causes disorders in them such as asthma and massive fibrosis. Therefore, it is very important for us to monitor the air quality and the gases present in the environment. Secondly, mining environments are very hot and humid, which over time can cause thermal stress in workers. Overexposure to heat and humid can cause the body to become fatigued and distressed. This can result in heat stroke. Therefore, we also monitor the thermal condition. Next, uh, we know that over uh, there's a lot of uh, exposure to noise in mines. Therefore, overexposure in this noise can cause sleep disturbances, concentration problems, and even permanent hearing loss. 
Therefore, we also monitor the auditory levels. Last but not the least, we know that miners are, are exposed to a lot of heat, harmful gases, and polluted air, which cause them to have a heat stroke, cardiac arrest, or collapse. Hence, monitoring the workers' condition is very crucial. Thank you for taking your time and watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it.